World War I, the Great War to End All Wars, which was on the 11th of November of 1918. And whereas in 1938, Armistice Day became a legal holiday set aside to honor veterans of World War I and following World War II after the greatest mobilization of soldiers, sailors, Marines, and airmen in history. The event was designated as Veterans Day to commemorate American veterans of all wars. And whereas the city of San Marcos will honor veterans through a month of service initiative throughout November, which encourages citizens to honor and celebrate veterans by decorating their homes and businesses, submitting photos and stories about their veterans, writing letters to veterans and veteran retirement homes, making donations to the Hayes County Food Bank, and sponsoring remembrance wreaths through wreaths across America to be placed on the grave sites of veterans resting at the San Marcos City Cemetery. And whereas the San Marcos community will recognize our veterans with a Veterans Day parade to show our pride and respect for the veterans who have assured freedom for our nation's 248 years. Whereas the parade marshal for this year's celebration is retired Marine Sergeant Rinder Richard Mendez Gonzalez. Born on September 17th of 1941, Richard spent the early years of his childhood with his aunt and uncles picking cotton in the fields around his home. Upon graduating from San Marcos High School in 1960, he joined the military as United States Marine. After boot camp, Richard retired home and married his high school sweetheart, Bernice Esquivel, on December 29th of 1961. And whereas as a Marine Corps recruit depot in San Diego, California, Richard was promoted to MOS, a military occupation specialist, as a 3071 aviation supply man, he then served a year and 27 days on his tour in Vietnam as our country was at war, and then he achieved the rank of ser sergeant. And whereas during his military career, he and his wife had three children, Richard, Cynthia, and Sylvia, and while completing his eight years in the service, he was awarded the Vietnam Service Medal, National Defense Service Medal, RBN Defense Medal, Vietnam Tet Campaign Medal, Vietnam Campaign Medal, American Defense Service Medal, Overseas Service Medal, Good Conduct Service Medal, Honorable Service Ribbon, Cold War Commendation Medal, and the Marine Rifle Sharpshooter Badge. And whereas after retiring and coming home to family, Richard then started the next stage of his career by working for the San Marcos Post Office. He began as a city carrier in 1969 and worked his way up to becoming the supervisor, retiring with that title in January of 2000 after 32 years of service. Now, therefore, I, Jane Hewson, by virtue of the authority vested in me as mayor of the city of San Marcos, Texas, do hereby proclaim the month of November 2024 as Veterans Month of Service and to hereby call upon the people of San Marcos to honor our soldiers, past and present, by flying the flag of our nation and participating in the Veterans Day Parade on November 9th and the Veterans Month of Service celebration throughout the month of November 2024. Thank you for your service. Quite an impressive service record, sir. Thank you. Did you want to say a few words? Uh, no, I just, uh, oh, excuse me. I just wanted to say thank you. you know, it's a great honor to be uh, you know, elected for this uh, Grand Marshal Parade. And I want to thank my family and, mm -hmm. and my friends that are here today. Uh, Lisa Morris, Recreation Programs Manager. Um, yeah, Veterans Day Parade is actually one of my favorite holidays of the year um, because it is a day to remember and honor our veterans uh, and their families uh, that are you know, present here today because the service isn't just the individual, it is their families. Um, and we have a lot to be grateful for, you know, especially throughout the month of November, which is Thanksgiving, but it is also that opportunity to honor our veterans throughout the month in the ways that you described in the proclamation um, and in ways that you can find out about on our city website, sanmarcustx.gov slash veterans. Uh, the parade this weekend is gonna be fantastic. We're hoping for great weather, uh, lots of parade entries. Um, and following that event, there will be another event on Plaza Park, uh, Surplus Veterans, Surplus Americans, excuse me, is gonna be hosting an event and they hope that all veterans and their families come out for some live music and resources for veterans and their families. Uh, so thank you for your service, sir.
Thank you to all veterans and their families who support them. Let the photos begin. Proclamation. Whereas in 1872, J. Sterling Morton proposed to the Nebraska Board of Agriculture that a special day be set aside for the planting of trees. And whereas this holiday called Arbor Day was first observed with the planting of more than a million trees in Nebraska and is now observed throughout the nation and around the world. And whereas trees can reduce the erosion of our precious topsoil by wind and water, cut heating and cooling costs, moderate the temperature, clean the air, produce life-giving oxygen, and provide habitat for wildlife. And whereas trees in our city increase property values, enhance the economic viability of business areas, and beautify our community, and whereas trees, wherever they are planted, are a source of joy and spiritual renewal, and whereas San Marcos holds trees in such high regard that we commit to one full month rather than the traditional one day of celebration. Now, therefore, I, Jane Hewson, by virtue of the authority vested in me as mayor of the city of San Marcos, Texas, do hereby proclaim the month of November 2024 as Arbor Month, and do hereby call upon all persons of the city of San Marcos to beautify our city and help the environment by planting a tree on their property or by participating in a community tree planting event. Thank you all. <laughs> Who's speaking? <laughs> Uh, yes, we are celebrating our Arbor Day month. Uh, on November 16th at City Park, we'll be giving away over 600 trees. We have a mixture of fruit trees and native trees to give away uh, approximately 20 different tree species, uh, fig trees, oak trees, all different kinds. So we're really excited about that. And uh, from 10 to 1, uh, first come, first serve as uh, supplies last. So. And we like trees year round, right?
proclamation. Whereas Hayes County Food Bank represents a countywide effort to provide adequate access to nutritious food to low-income households and those who find themselves in a food emergency. And whereas in 2023, Hayes County Food Bank provided more than 1,500 meal boxes, which included a turkey and traditional holiday food that households in need can prepare in the comfort of their own home. And whereas in 2024, there will be 750 holiday meal boxes distributed to clients in San Marcos, and whereas Hayes County Food Bank has officially launched its 18th annual Turkeys Tackling Hunger campaign in an effort to raise funds for this special holiday meal program, and whereas Hayes County Food Bank understands the benefit of family and friends gathering and cooking in their own home, and whereas citizens of this great city can sponsor a Thanksgiving meal for a family for just $60, and whereas Hayes County Food Bank is committed to growing the spirit of community in San Marcos. Now, therefore, I, Jane Houston, by virtue of the authority vested in me as mayor of the city of San Marcos, Texas, do hereby proclaim the month of November as Turkey's Tackling Hunger Month, and do hereby call upon all persons of the city of San Marcos to support this program by helping to provide families and individuals in need with the food to prepare a traditional holiday meal. Thank you all for what you do for this and every day. Well, thank you, Mayor. It is our pleasure to do this, and congratulations on your re-election. Uh, anyone who's listening, if you don't already know, Jane Houston has been such a friend to the food bank and has specifically, personally sponsored this program for years. So we're very grateful to you and to the whole community. We've had people reaching out. Uh, we just heard that the veterans have donated food to us. So many different organizations have. And it's been a, a joy and an honor to lead this organization that has the support of the community. And we look forward to Thanksgiving. It's going to be wonderful. I was on the board when we started this, and I may have come up with the name. <laughs> <laughs>